Good day to all viewers. I'm back today again with the second video on container gardening. As I mentioned in the first video that the essence of container gardening is for residents of urban areas where most compounds are paved or with no outside space for gardening to grow crops using containers. I started with um, very few containers and now it has increased as I have added more crops. My containers are basically collected from within, plastic bags, old buckets, cement bags, wooden boxes from used timbers during the construction work at home. It's basically get your container, anything special enough for your crops to grow in, fill it with um, fertilizer well, make sure um, you remove all undecomposable materials from it, including big stones, as um, these will obstruct root growth. After filling your container, water well and then plant your crop. It's a good ergonomic practice. You will see it's growing well like it would when planted in this way. I started with two potted tomatoes, a watermelon, few ornamental plants and now I have increased the number as more crops have been planted. The tomatoes are fruiting, the watermelon is flowering and um, the first spring onion is developing well. I will show you them all in this um, video session so stay with me and let's take a view of the crops i'm having in my container gardening so i thank you very much of course you have to be in a constant touch with your crops as you can see now i'm observing the plants for pests and disease infections and other irregularities that may tend to disturb the crops growth and yield abilities. This um, watermelon is um, one of the first crops I planted and as you can see it's um, now flowering. It has already produced its um, first flower. As you can see it's right in between the leaves.
I cover the soil tops in the containers using the floor mats to prevent chickens from pricking into the soil and then um, to also help retain moisture for a longer period. This tomato also is um, one of the very first crops I planted as you can see it is already fruiting and then this particular stand is having about um, seven fruits on it and um, it's still producing flowers so expect more fruits to come up after these ones. So these um, tomato crops um, we are staked uh, as um, the weight of the fruit do tend to bend them um, the stems over so that is why you have to stake them to support it from bending over. I'm planting um, okra seeds in this um, box just prepared uh, to see how best um, they can do in this box. So far these are what I'm having for now and I'm expecting to increase on it. And I'm working on setting up my first hydroponic system which probably will be featured in my next video. So whosoever is watching this video should know now that um, crops can be grown well in containers filled with soil. Just as it would in them um, when planted on the ground. So if you are interested in growing crops. Your paved compounds, verandas, side of your walkways, around your houses. Once there is a penetration of sunlight for some hours in a day, it's um, a perfect growing space for your crops using containers. For fertilization, potted plants can um, also be fertilized if seeing that the fertility that's available nutrients in the potted soil cannot supply the crop. What time? Um, it needs to grow throughout its growing period then a suitable supplementary fertilizer could be used to boost the crop's growth as in my case it's more organic so i use plant tea that is a liquid fertilizer brewed from organic materials but you can also use inorganic fertilizers if you choose to but um, are not environmentally friendly for more videos on crop cultivation you can contact the youtube address below as I have um, previous videos uploaded there, yeah, you can also contact um, the web address below for any information. And I'm available on a um, uh, wider range, the Facebook address displayed also. So please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and um, always click the like button, of course, if you like. So uh, and thank you very much till my next video session.